Welcome to Waterbuck, your all around fishing and hunting channel. My name's Elliot, and today I want to explain to you what this channel is about. This is going to be the first video. So, this whole channel is going to be all fishing and all hunting as well. You know, I'll take you scouting, I'll take you fishing, we're going to be out on the water, and you're going to see a lot of really packed action, and you'll see all sorts of different stuff. Now, today, I'm going to show you guys my 2016 setup. I've had this dude right here for so long. I've had him for almost probably, I'd say since I was 12 years old almost. And I just yesterday get a whole bunch of new gear and I'm going to show you my swap from this tackle box over to this tackle box. And I'll also show you my rod and reel and what I'm going to be dealing with this spring and summer. Well, this guy right here in front of me is my old one. This guy I've had for the 12 years and this is the one that I just got yesterday at uh, Dick's Sporting Goods. I have all sorts of goodies in this guy. I got some snails, a couple, uh, a couple frogs, a KVD uh, Strike King, and uh, some really nice soft plastics. Start off, this is a quarter ounce, seven gram Castmaster. It's got a nice red and gold color to it, and this will be really good for the pike fishing. This guy, I'm gonna, I'm thinking I'm gonna have my top part be my Castmaster. Uh, and my little Clio pockets, because I almost swear on them. I have a bunch of little Clios uh, and cast masters over in my old box. So my top bin is going to be all my cast masters and all my spinner baits. Next up, we got two Jawbone Tackle Co. PVC frogs. These guys will be really good for the weedy areas and the shallower fishing for bass. All right, so this is the first frog. This guy is going to go right down here on the second uh, second tray. This tray is going to be for my crankbaits and uh, my frogs. Just going to open this guy. These blacks and greens are going to work really well. And this black guy right here kind of looks like a toad. He's going to work perfect for those muddy, the muddy waters and the muddy lakes. This guy will be perfect for clear water, clear water lake or pond or, or anything like that, wherever you're fishing. Here we got a KVD Strike King 1.0 crankbait. This guy has some really nice black and yellow color on him with the, uh, with the gills. It really kind of looks like a perch, and this guy will be perfect for shallow water. It can dive down to, to about two to four feet. This again will be on the second tray, as my frogs will be. This is gonna be my crankbait tray. Open it up, oh, then open it up as well as I wanted it to. Put that down there. This is the first time I'm checking this out, so I'm just gonna do a quick look over. Nice. This is a really nice bait. I'm really excited for this. My girlfriend actually picked this one out for me, and um, she she really did a good job picking this one out. I'm wicked excited for this. I got one pack of Yum Christy Craws, and these work really well in my home uh, my home reservoir, the Waterbury Reservoir. The bass will love these. I also got ten packs. All were a dollar. I got an awesome deal on these at Dick's. These all were a dollar. Everything from your salamander to your soft plastic worms. Got two packs of these. And they also have, if I can find them, a little frog, some frog uh, rigs here too. So the bottom of my tackle box, or as I like to call it, the bottom bucket, is going to have all my soft plastics in it because I don't want to uh, open these yet until I really need them. Um, I'm going to put my yums in first. I'm going to put them down here. I also forgot to tell you that these are called big bite baits. These are really, really nice baits. Even though they were a buck, they still work and they work really well. I'll put these here as well. Next up, we just got a couple of random assortments of uh, hooks and uh, other things. These are kind of a secret weapon as I like to call them because they caught me a lot of fish. These are really good for just regular worm fishing. But I have a couple ideas for uh, for these spinner baits uh, that we'll see how they go. These guys are just going to go right in the bottom. Also have these two kind of random sets. This is a offset 4.0 fast wide gap um, uh, hook. And I also have some rugby jigs. These are going to work really well. These are three degree offsets, one and one, or a quarter, quarter whatever you call them. I don't even know what they're called, but hey, they're going in my tackle box. Now we just got some sinkers to, to finish off the, this stuff, and these will also go on the bottom. Now that you've seen all of my new gear that I just got yesterday, I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I'm swapping over from my old tackle box into my new one. 
I'm gonna start off with this crankbait. This crankbait actually means a lot to me. My brother gave this to me a while ago. <laughs> he actually found this on the side of a uh, river. I think it was the Winooski River on one of the spots that, that we usually fish around. It might have been Belvedere Pond. I can't really remember. But uh, he gave me this crankbait. It's a nice rattle bait. And this will go right with my crankbaits. Next, I got this guy. This is a nice little jerk bait. This kind of looks more like a shad and a little bit of a trout at the same time with this blue line in the middle. So it can, it, it'll be good for a lot of different species. This guy will go down in my, uh, my jerk bait tray down on the bottom. Up next, we got a nice little Cleo here. I love these guys. Little Cleos and Castmasters are honestly some of my favorite, favorite spinners. So I'll put this up, up top here. Again, got two more. Now these blue and silver ones are usually what I swear by. And I don't know what it is about the blue and silver. It might be that they kind of got the bluegill look to them and these spoons, but they work and they catch fish and that's all that really matters. All right. I get some stuff untangled here. Oh no, I've been hooked. All right. So this is just a regular silver little cast master here. Nice little, little bait, nice little spinner bait. Put him over here. Got two more. This one's a nice silver and blue. This one has a nice perch color to it. It's got the nice green on the upper top with the black stripes and the orange on the bottom. This is a really good bass lure. All right, moving to our next lures. Dropping stuff everywhere. Whoops. These I got from a little trout pack. The little trout packs you can get in uh, these clear, clear things like this. These honestly have caught me all sorts of fish. Not, not really a specific type of thing. Mostly for trout. Maybe you could catch, you can catch some bass with them, some perch. Um, but the feathers are really nice on them, and these will, these will help me a lot. This, I don't even know what this is. This, I think we, my dad and I, we went uh, deep sea fishing up in Maine a long, long time ago. I, I must have been maybe eight or seven years old when we did this. And we made these really cool jig baits for the ocean that you could throw. I'm just gonna toss these aside right now because these really won't do much for me. Always gonna have a knife, most important thing. Next up, a whole bunch of worms. I got a whole bunch of new ones, so I honestly think I might just toss these. I might save a couple of them, but I've honestly tried these over the years, these soft plastics, and they don't work too well. So I'm gonna get rid of them. Here's another one of those funky baits that my dad and I made. A lot of these jig heads, these jiggers, these are really good for panfish. I'm gonna keep those in here. I didn't even know I had this, but it looks like it's 10 pound, 10 pound chai line. I'll put this down on the bottom, that'll help me out. This is a little trout pack that I had. Little random pellets and stuff like that. Put those on the bottom here. Got some more jigs. These these little boxes come in really handy if you're doing uh, you know, if you're going deep in the woods or anything like that, those will really, really help you. One thing I actually forgot was these power baits. I got these for Christmas. I'm super excited to use these. They got a nice shad color to them. So these right under. Slip my boxes back in. Got a nice little assortment of sinkers, some pan fish, hooks and stuff going everywhere. I'm gonna take these two hooks out of the packet. I'm gonna slip them right up top here. These things right here, swivels. Always have them. I always like to have them. They're like a safekeeping to me. They're like little babies. <laughs> I gotta keep them. I'm gonna put these up in here. Get another little pack of snails. Put that in here. So these are metal leaders. These things are really good for pike fishing. You want these on because when the fish bites, or a pike or a pickerel, as you can tell, it's gonna be really hard to break. It's metal. 
and you're going to be able to break it with those sharp teeth that they have. So I always like to keep a couple of these. Right now I only have one. I'm definitely going to buy some more because I really like fishing for pike. Just keep that in there too. So I grab that. Move this guy up top. I always like to keep a stringer with me in case you need any, uh, if you catch any fish and need to keep them alive, you can string them up and keep them on the side of your kayak. Put this guy on the bottom here. And uh, that's my uh, 2016 tackle setup. Next I'm going to show you my, uh, my rod and reel setup that I have right now. We've seen the tackle, we've seen the tackle box. That leaves us with one more thing to see. That's the rod and reel right here. I use a carbon fire lose uh, spinner reel. It's got a 6 to 1 gear ratio on it. I've had this for about a year and it's a really nice reel. I got it for about 50 bucks. You know, I can't, I can't argue with it. It works and it catches me fish. That's all that really matters. I also have a South Bend. This pulls from Walmart. Let me tell you, it's lasted me probably six or seven years. Might get a new one soon. I think I'm going to get a nice setup soon. We'll see. This is a nice South Bend Micro Light carbon fiber um, rod. And I like these smaller rods for uh, kayak fishing. And it makes it a lot easier for me to, to fish in uh, tighter areas as well. And it's more compact for me to get around. Um, right now, I have one of my little uh, my cast masters on it, a nice little one. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. I, I can't wait to see you guys weekly. We'll definitely have a fishing video up next week, pointing with my fishing pole. And um, yeah, can't wait to see you guys then. Take it easy.